we are given f of x equals inverse tangent of 2x to the fifth and asked to determine f prime of x. Notice how we do have a composite function where the inner function, often referred to as u, is 2x to the fifth. So if we have u is equal to 2x to the fifth, when applying the chain rule, we need to determine du dx or u prime, where u prime is equal to the derivative of 2x to the fifth with respect to x, which is 10x to the fourth. And now looking at the derivative formulas, the derivative of inverse tangent of u with respect to x is equal to one divided by the quantity one plus u squared times u prime, which means in our case, f prime of x is equal to one divided by the quantity one plus u squared is the quantity one plus the square of two x to the fifth, and then times u prime, which is times 10 x to the fourth. Simplifying, we have f prime of x equals 10x to the fourth divided by the quantity one plus the square of two x to the fifth is four x to the tenth. Now we need to be careful here. We cannot simplify the 10x to the fourth and four x to the tenth because we cannot simplify across addition. This is the derivative function. Next, we have g of x equals inverse secant of three x cubed, and we're asked to determine g prime of x. Once again, notice how we have a composite function where the inner function u is equal to three x cubed. So if we have u equals three x cubed, then u prime is the derivative of three x cubed with respect to x, which is nine x squared. Looking at our derivative formulas, the derivative of inverse secant u with respect to x is equal to one divided by the product of the absolute value of u and the square root of the quantity u squared minus one, and then we have times u prime. And therefore, g prime of x is equal to, again, one divided by the product of the absolute value of u, which is the absolute value of three x cubed, and then times the square root of the quantity u squared minus one, which is the square of three x cubed minus one, and then times u prime, where u prime is nine x squared. Simplifying, we have g prime of x is equal to nine x squared, divided by the product of the absolute value of three x cubed and the square root of the quantity the square of three x cubed is nine x to the sixth minus one. Now here we can simplify the nine x squared and the absolute value of three x cubed because the absolute value is attached to the square root by multiplication. There are three threes in nine and one three in three. And then we have x squared over x cubed. The x squared simplifies to one and the x cubed simplifies to x to the first. So the simplified form of g prime of x is three divided by the product of the absolute value of x and the square root of the quantity nine x to the sixth minus one. I hope you found this helpful.